so much for joining us this evening. We do appreciate your time. It's very valuable. Uh, one of Porsche's great visions is to be the most aspirational brand in the world. And part of the way that we achieve that is to align ourselves with like-minded individuals. And our special guest this evening, um, four-time Grand Slam champion and global Porsche brand ambassador, Maria Sharapova is here to share some time with us. Please welcome. Thank you. I didn't have any beer either. <laughs> you're definitely a lot smaller. So thank you very much. I know you're about to face a big the Sony Open tennis tournament this yes, week. Um, so thanks for taking the time. Of course, of course. And um, you recently launched the Porsche Panamera GTS by Maria Sharapova in yes. your hometown of Sochi. Sochi. Yes. Uh, so what was that like for you? I mean, launching a super high-end performance car. <laughs> It was, down. it was so special um, to see such a beautiful car. Um, it was driven all the way to the coast, so close to the to the Black Sea of Sochi on the by the Pebble Rocks, and um, you know to customize something, to see something come alive that you worked on and chose things for, from the colors to the interiors, and to actually see it for the first time be presented um, in a very special special place is very unique. Yeah. Well, and that sets a nice tone for Porsche exclusive, which is what we tend to offer to a lot of our customers who. Right. Purchased the 911 Turbo S, which many of you have already driven today, and Maria and spent a lot of time in our I cars. I did. It was quite amazing to see the things that she could actually customize. There's so many little details, and you know, I'm a woman, and I prefer my colors and materials and textures. And you know, when you're driving, you want it to be a very comfortable experience, also a visual experience. So it was so great to be able to pick and choose little things. And you know, I'm maybe not a, an expert like a male driver is, but I know what I like as well, and I like to be in control when I'm in front of the wheel. So it was it was a lot of fun. Great, glad to hear it. And I, I like the control aspect. Just because we're chicks doesn't mean that we I can't know. drive we, fast performance we like to, cars. We like to have good control, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, and on that note, I mean, Porsche definitely likes to share this authentic sports car experience. Definitely. So when you started talking to Porsche about becoming a global brand ambassador, what was it about the brand that resonated with you? You know. It, we both, I feel, share so many values. We're both very powerful and, and competitive, um, yet we, we maintain a very um, elegant force in what we do, um, you know, in, in me being in my profession and trying to, to go out there and, and beat my opponent, someone that's across the net from, um, from Porsche's end, um, you know, developing a car that's, that's the latest and, and really the greatest out there and, um, and developing into something extremely special. Well, we feel obviously it's a great fit. So I mean, you well, I'm I get to drive incredible cars on top of it all. So <laughs> I'm I'm really the lucky one. <laughs> on that note, um, Maria was with us in Los Angeles late last year, launching the all-new Macan. Yes. Now, from my uh, New Yorker talk, that's effectively a 911 on stilts. I mean, it is the sports car of its class. It really so is. you were there with us. Any first reactions to share with the group? I was. It was. Um, it was fun because I, I actually got a, a sneak peek just before, and when we were going through rehearsals, I was thinking, this is such a great car for my team and I when we're in Europe, because it's a smaller, smaller version of the Cayenne. It has all the elements of a sporty 911, um, and it's so comfortable to be in. And I'm quite a tall girl, and, and I didn't even really need to move my seat back. So. In fact, can we talk about how tall you are? I'm like 6'2 without okay. the heels. And then you got the heels. So, <laughs> so then, yeah, it's, just, it's tall. And, and, and she fits in all of the Porsches. I mean, that's, I do. that's a great statement. I and know. It, I mean, that's why we tend to take pictures with you in the car. <laughs> I guess to show we have a lot of tall male individuals that yes. buy our cars. But again, the powerful female mix as well. Exactly. Are, they love performance cars as well. But there's other elements too that I'm sure you like the safety, the, of course, the look yes. and feel design of aspect. Of course, that you there, talk there about. are a lot of little things that you want to, you know, that you want to create and make your own, especially um, in a luxurious car like a Porsche. So we're with a lot of lifestyle press here today, and um, it's an area that we like to work with because the people who are reading the publications and websites and tablets that um, these individuals write for. Mm -hmm want to know how is this car, this Porsche, going to fit into my lifestyle? So do any of those elements, like, I mean, there's people who pick up the kids from soccer practice and they're not 11s, or you're going with Macan maybe in the future to your tennis of tournament. Course. So how does lifestyle oh. fit into that? Oh, lifestyle is a huge part. I mean, a, a car is something that, that you see. I mean, I travel around the world and, you know, I, I, 
I'm lucky enough to get Porsche cars wherever I am. I, I got into um, I got into Miami here, and I have a tournament for the next two days, and I have a team of about four people, you know, from the coach and the physio. So everyone needs to be in the car. Everyone needs to be comfortable. You know, there's always a bigger city. There's always traffic. So y you want to be you want to be in an atmosphere in which you spend so much time, and you want to feel that comfort. You want to feel that safety. And it's a huge. I mean, cars are a huge part of our lifestyle on a daily basis. How about just in regular day to day? If you actually live regular day to day, yeah. after your, you know. I try to when I come home. It's, <laughs> it's nice to be able to. But um, I, I actually um, drive a 911 Turbo, and um, it's a Excuse car. Excuse me. I know, but I, I want the car, and when I get inside the car, it's like all my memories um, go back to the to the tournament that I won in Stuttgart, um, which was quite quite special because I got to drive the the car off of the ramp and drive it onto the court in front of thousands of people. So it always gives me that. That really nice memory. Great. So, are you a cabriolet fan or are you a coupe fan? I like a coupe. You like a coupe? Yeah. A woman, come on, guys. You gotta appreciate this. A woman who loves a coupe. I do. I mean, this is incredible. I, I truly respect you even more now. Forget Thank about you. your athleticism, but just what you like in cars. Um, so, well, on 9-11, I mean, we drove the Turbo S today, um, and, you know, you launched the Panamera GTS. Yes. Performance is such a huge part of what we do. Yes. And we like to feel that when we're putting the 918 supercar, the 918 Spider out, we're putting the 98. I need to try that one. <laughs> yes, we need, we need to get you we into that car. That, yeah. Hot lap mode, though, all the way. Okay, okay. all right. Um, and the 919, which is making its debut for Le Mans racing. Mm -hmm. So we feel like we deliver that performance and athleticism into all our cars on a daily basis, right. which is why this feels like such a great fit as exactly. well. Um, so what are some of the, I don't know, the athletic attributes that you feel you exude in your profession that yeah. we're doing at Porsche too? Well, I think it's that competitive edge and that acceleration. Um, and, you know, it obviously as, a, as an athlete, performance is an, an incredible, um, you know, is an incredible part of what I do, but it's also, it's also the work that goes into making that, into making that performance and all the details that go into making a car. I think you see a final product and, you know, we always rave about what we see, but it's always little details, the behind the scenes that go into, you know, just like me spending the hours on the court and training that bring me onto the stage in front of thousands of people. It's the same thing with a car. So it is those little um, attributes that, that are extremely important. The training aspect. So maybe just give a little background in terms of when you actually felt like you needed to play tennis as a profession and <laughs> what kind of training went into that. Because yeah. when we decided we wanted to build 918 a few years back, right. we went you know, all in. And there's right. there's no turning back, there's no, no compromise. No. And when you are in it, you're in it. No compromise and a lot of sacrifice. And I think that goes into every profession and every job and so many of the things that we do is we want to have that commitment and you want to dedicate yourself to that sport, to that career, to, to the area that you have a passion for and that you want to continue and you want to thrive on and, and really build on. So how old were you when you said well, this, I, is, this is it? I think, well, I moved to, to the United States when I was about seven, and, um, and that's when I realized I'm, I'm actually in this new place and in this new country to develop a, to develop a career. And, and little by little, I started playing tournaments, and, and then I started winning smaller junior tournaments, and I started realizing that, you know, I, I really love this, and I love competing, and that one day this, you know, I, I'll be a big girl and still be doing it. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we're glad you're still doing it. Um, you know, a lot of our guests here tonight travel the globe to experience our sports cars, right. our you know SUVs and everything. They go to places like Morocco and Abu Dhabi and they, they have magnificent experiences. Mm -hmm. If there was a place mm -hmm. that you haven't been to yet maybe, right. that you would want to go for an all out 911 turbo experience. Yes, experience, where would that be? I would say the coast of California, probably from San Francisco going to Carmel and, um, and Big Sur. It's a beautiful area, and there's so many places where you can stop and and just and, and see and see the dolphins and, and the whales as well. It's just a really um, it's something that my friends have have told me about, and something that I've wanted to do. So that would be incredible. That's a beautiful drive. I'm sure a lot of you have done that similar yes. drive experience. I'm behind on that. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll get you going. Maybe, Maybe in a 918. Yeah, Morocco, yes. <laughs> Morocco sounds good too. Um, so. When you get into a Porsche, what's the most important thing? Is that is it that zero to sixty, or is it that um, braking aspect? I mean, like for me, it's acceleration. Yeah, it's the it's from the moment you get inside and you see the green light, and 
you just go. That's that's the way I see my sport, and that's that's how I relate the feeling in the car too. We definitely have to get you into a 980. Yes, <laughs> there's, there's no doubt. Um, well, with the tournament this week, um, maybe not like don't reveal any secrets of your strategy or so, but <laughs> what is your focal point? Like, how do you get into the game and ready yeah. to go? Well, I you always think of the tournament itself, and um, you know I've played it many, many times, and I've had really good experiences and good memories. I've been to the finals the last few years, and um, it's a special place. And I've spent so many years in Florida, so it's always nice when you when you have some sort of familiarity to to that center court, and when you when you expect the fans to be behind you, and there's always that Latin um, flavor out on that court because you you really feel the energy and. Um, and you always look forward to playing out there. So that's kind of the mindset, that positive, you know, energy that you go into it with. Can anybody relate to that Latin energy here? Of course. <laughs> Hello. Um, well, Porsche is involved this week as well. Um, we have the 911 Targa that we just launched in January of this year that will be on display at the tournament. Um, and we also have the Macan. So right. these places are great for us to interact and engage with that Latin energy as well. Definitely. And, um, definitely. The and tournament itself is a great experience and even the drive off to Key Biscayne is beautiful and it's a great, great place to test those cars. Perfect. And thank you for taking the time leading into your tournament because I know you have so much to prepare for and practice. We truly appreciate your partnership. Thank you. And thank you for attending. Of course.